Sunday blessings, Sunday blessings, Sunday blessings. Good morning, everyone. Today, I want you to get your coffee, get your tea, and I want you to tune in to these sermon notes. You are going to be richly blessed. I want to say this. We are going into 2022, if God say so, in just a few more days, believe it or not. These sermon notes may be, probably will be, your saving grace. Let's get right on into this blessing. The scripture text is Ezekiel chapter 37, verses 1 through 6. I encourage you to get your paper Bible. If not, please use your device, but please read these scriptures. Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 1 through 6. The title of the sermon was Rebuild, Remodel, and Renovate. The text is about very dry bones. In chapter 1, the place was beautiful, but by the time you get to chapter 37, it is no longer the same. It's a dry place. It used to be a place where you wanted to live. There is beautiful, you know, like a beautiful screenshot on your phone or whatever. Just a beautiful place. But by the time you get to trap chapter 37, it has become a dry place that you no longer want to be. Ezekiel is looking at a dead situation. The bones represented the people who have lost their way. They used to be filled with the Holy Spirit and in a place of joy and peace. There are some places in your life that used to bring you happiness, but now your valley is dry. Your marriage, your career. You used to be in chapter one when it was a beautiful place and you wanted to be there. It's dry now, and you're frustrated. Somewhere in life, things changed. God asked Ezekiel, can these dry bones live? Why does an all-knowing God ask Ezekiel that question? If God says something, he is going to do it, whether you want it to or not. Will you believe God when the bills come in, the sickness comes into your body? Do you believe that God can give you more splendor than in chapter one? Can these dry bones live? What do you do when God asks you a question? God already, God already knows the answer. He just wants to see your faith. He just wants to see your faith. Is your faith intact? Do you believe God for it? Before the rebuilding can happen, you have to fortify your faith and establish your expectations. If you don't believe that he is not obligated to work, meaning if you don't believe that God is not, uh, if you don't believe then God is not obligated to work where there is no faith in him. Let me say that again. If you don't believe, then God is not obligated to work where there is no faith in him. Now, God is moving now. When you believe in him, he's moving. You are in that prayer closet, driving down the street praying, crying and praying. Because you believe God can turn it around. God is the only one that can turn it around. Can these bones live? Ezekiel said, Lord, I don't know, but I know you know. No matter what happens, it is up to God. It's up to you, God. But if you don't, it's still up to you, God. God told Ezekiel to speak life to the dead situation. 
God told Ezekiel, speak life to the dead situation. Speak life into everything that you want to live. Don't wait on your favorite prayer partner. Cry out yourself. Speak life into that situation. When is the last time you spoke in your house and said, evil, you get out of here. When is the last time you said depression, you get out of here. Dry bones are evidence that they have been there for a long time. They are dead. They represented Israel. Ezekiel said he spoke the word of the Lord. To the people and everything came to life. Notice he spoke the word of the Lord to the people and everything came back to life. Everything started to line up. You have to pray and speak life over what God says. You have to pray and speak life over what God says. You start to see things get better. Even your blood pressure. The bones came to life. God went a step further than connecting those bones. He put flesh on the bones and tendon and skin. God covered the bones. All right. He not only put the bones back together, but he covered. God covered the bones. God is fixing to cover some things in your situation. The covering of the Lord is grace and mercy. Walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Where you are, where you've been, is just dry. Speak to that dead situation and things will change. Now, all right, that's life changing. That is life changing. If you are preparing in your heart and mind, to go through 2022, God willing. And I want to say this. This is just me speaking now. If you've been through 2020, you already know what the whole world has been through. We're still going through, you know, what started in 2020. 2021 has been a little different. Things are still going on, y'all. God is still getting our attention He's still getting our attention. And that's only number one. There are more things coming. That's why we can't turn back. We got to go forward. We got to walk through the valley of the shadow of death. We got to walk through the valley of the shadow of death. And if the Lord let us even see 2022, then we have got to have a blueprint of how to walk through. Can these dry bones live? If you have faith in God, and I love where the pastor said, you got to speak to evil and tell it, get out of here, get out of my house, get out of my way. Darkness, evilness, depression, whatever it is that, like he said, when we were in chapter one, it's a beautiful place, used to be happy and joy and peace. Now in chapter 37, and dry bones, just no life, don't we don't want to be there. Speak to your dry situation and speak it to the God that hears your situation that can fix it. And that's what I love. We do serve a mighty God, Lord God, Jesus Christ. Thank you. That can fix it. So speak it, speak it, speak life into it. And things will turn around. Matter of fact, as soon as you start speaking, and if you start right now, you're going to see, you're going to see things start turning around today. I promise you that. Speak it to the Lord. Call it out right now. Pray. Pray. Cry out to the Lord God right now. Cry out to Jesus Christ right now. And you're going to see changes in your life even today. That that weight going to come off you. Can these dry bones live? All right. Use it as your blueprint. Go in there and read about the dry bones. It is amazing. Can these dry bones live? All right. Be blessed.